There we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Can you guys hear me? Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Quick update, guys. This is an advertisement for Hefty. <laughs> I'm kidding. Welcome, Learn Auto Body VIP members. Let me know if you guys are in. What's up, brother? Arnold Ricchetti in the house. Hey, Tony. Looking forward to your update, says Global Exploring. Harold Schwinn, Lifetime VIP Kansas. What's up, guys? 7 p.m. today, uh, Eastern. What's up, Russ? How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um... Okay, so good update, good update. Mayan, what's up, Mayan Lifetime VIP? So here's what's going on. Let me go to banners quickly. Uh, for all you newbies tuning in, if you want to learn more about auto body, you can go to learnautobodyandpaint.com and get some free training. Anyway, uh, for those of you who are on right now, if you don't mind, clicking the like button and uh, we can get started right now. So I epoxied the garage floor just last night, actually around seven o'clock maybe. Um, we got the two and a half garage epoxy kit, Rust-Oleum. Actually, I think it's a great product. Um, I did film some of the process Okay, including like mixing the paint and all that, the floor prep, um, and then part of me rolling it on. So I was literally finished. I had to order more, by the way, because there was a, a section by the bench that I purposely didn't do because I, I just thought, it, you know, the two and a half garage kit would have been tight, like paint wise, because, you know, I was like holding the paint. And I'm like, man, this is a lot of flooring to cover for this, you know, so I'm glad I didn't do it because... I actually finished the complete garage. What's up, Patty? And um, it started to rain. Okay. Right when I was finishing the edge of the driveway going into the garage, you know, like it can get wet there, right? So it was totally dark out by the time I was finishing. I think I started around seven, maybe around 8.30 I was finishing up, give or take. And um, the power went out. Power went out. Literally, I had all the shop lights on. I was painting. A couple of moths flew in it because it's so glossy, you know. And the power went out. And this is right when I finished the edge and I was throwing some sprinkles on it. So I literally had to turn on my my I, my phone as a flashlight. And then I was like flashing the light and throwing sprinkles on it. And then it started raining and then I go, I run to my van, which is outside, right? And I hit the clicker to shut the garage door. And I'm like, shit, there's no electric. So the garage door is not going to come down. So I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? And my dog is like going nuts because she sees me running around. Nala, right? I Because she, she was smart the whole time. She stayed away from it because it, you know, it smells. It's a 2K epoxy paint. So when I was rolling it, like I wanted to tie her up, but she kept on wanting to come into the garage. So like I said, screw it, you know, Nala stay away. And I was rolling and she smelled it and she just stayed away at the garage the whole time. But I was done. I was done. And uh, all that commotion was happening. The lights went out. I was trying to throw the sprinkles on. I hit the garage thing. The thing didn't go. And then she, with all the commotion, she walked in the garage to the door into the house. And I'm like, oh, God. So I'm like, I got no choice. So I had to walk on the wet paint to pull the latch for the garage to shut the door. So we got like mini footprints, kind of like not bad, actually uh, a lot better than I thought when I looked at it later. But we got a little bit of footprints in there. Um little bit of footprints in there and um <coughs> um i was gonna say something oh when the garage closed literally like a foot of the finished portion is outside the garage i didn't realize it i thought it closed right on it i didn't you know i wasn't looking paying attention 
So like the rain ruined about a foot. <laughs> the the garage ru it it ruined like a foot of the uh, painted. So I ordered another two and a half car garage kit because I couldn't find any of the dark gray color in a smaller touch up. So I'm going to mix like one bag and then what I'm going to do is basically sand it with like 150 grit, like all the areas where I kind of messed up and um, just retouch it up, you know, just just hit it and then just roll roll the areas where I sand it and get under the bench, uh, the long bench table that's on the side of the shop. I didn't paint under there, so I'll get under there and do all the touch ups, but it came out very, very glossy as a matter of fact. And I got, I got some video guys and I'm going to be uploading a video to YouTube on the whole, whole process. <clears throat> um, so I just wanted to give you an update of that, but this is how it looks super quickly. I mean, it came out really good. I just got to put the black cove. I got to put the black cove on the bottom, but that's how it looks super glossy. I walked on it this morning. I moved my air compressor, my toolboxes, moved everything back in and um it looks good so you guys are going to see the better uh video version of that soon so uh yeah anyway that's that just had to give you an update on that um i am currently working on the small bathroom just did a valve body replacement took had to take the back of the shower wall out and I replaced the whole valve body, did some plumbing work, and now I'm tiling the front back because it was an old school three, three knob system uh, for the shower. So we made a one knob, you know, a, a singular uh, knob. So that's done. So yeah, you know, working on the house little by little, um, working online, and the garage is painted. Just got to do a touch up. So I would think, I mean, you know, pretty soon, pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be the Honda Grom project is next. You know, I got the candy paint for it. I got everything. I just got to get some silver base coat. And then uh, we're going to have some fun with that thing. We're going to make it really pop out. I got I got two candies. I got Oriental Blue Candy Concentrate. And I got what gold was it? It was some kind of gold. Forgot the name of the gold. But it was a gold, Spanish gold, Spanish gold candy concentrate. And these are all house of color candies. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to show you the mixing ratios with the concentrate. Actually, I've never used candy concentrate before. I've always just used a regular candy. So it's going to be fun. You know, I'm going to show you exactly how it's made, follow directions, show you how to do it. And then uh, we're going to have a cool, I might do a golden blue, golden blue motorcycle candy you know with some maybe some some additional graphics on it i don't know yet but i want to take advantage of the spanish gold and the candy blue and uh you know in i know in dubai um the color of wealth and rich richness or riches is blue and gold like i've seen a documentary on one of their hotels and literally the whole inside was blue, like a dark navy blue. And some areas were a lighter blue mixed with gold and it looks really well. And ironically, that those were the colors of my 67 Camaro um, when I painted my 67 Camaro when I was 21. I was 21 or 22. I actually had a gold, I used a mini gold for the interior. Um, and then I put a, I put, I use that same gold for some stripe graphics on the side. And then I, I sprayed the car blue. So it was blue and gold. Actually, it's a very nice color combination. So I might do the rims in gold. So they pop out, um, do the body in, you know, the majority in like a dark candy blue, and then maybe some gold graphics. <clears throat> Thank you, Arnold. Paradise Garage is looking killer. Well, it's the mini Paradise Garage version. It's not hardcore all out yet. Uh, we're just setting up the 500 square foot little garage, which is a good space, by the way, <clears throat> to start, you know, start some projects up, start filming, making some cool content and whatnot. We're almost there. Almost there. Thanks for uh, being patient, guys. Seriously. I mean, it's been it's been months. 
it's been months. You guys are watching and tuning in Arnold and Patty and Kelvin and Mayan and all these guys, Harold Schwinn, all, all of you guys have been tuning in since the talks of this. How many months ago? You know, through through all the ups and downs. It's Garage Junior. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a spot, you know, I, we pulled in a car. There's plenty of room to work on a car in there and to do body work and to paint something. I um, was even talking to my neighbor yesterday. He's like, dude, I have a golf project golf. He's like, in the future, I'm like, hey, why not? You know, let me get let me get set up. So uh, anyway, hope everyone's doing well. Um, what's new? What are you guys working on? Frank is not on right now, but he sent me some pictures of the MG that he painted. It looks freaking fantastic, by the way. Too bad Frank didn't make it on. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, guys, so, uh, you know, all of you guys, Arnold, thank you for, you know, staying in touch and all of that. Um, as soon as things kind of mellow out here with getting the shop completed and some of the home completed, I would also like to talk to you. And I know I said that before, but I really, you know, we will, we will talk. Black Rain. Oh, so how many of you guys started New Year's resolutions? If you guys started New Year's resolutions, can you tell me some of your New Year's resolutions right now? Like, just curious. I actually haven't. I'm not really into that. I've never really said, oh, you know, I was never one of those to do that. But I actually just ordered a complete workout system. I got some. Uh, adjustable dumbbells. I got a bench. I got a pull-up bar, you know, a pull-up and uh, dip station. You know what those, you know, you know what they look like. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I got my bow flex and I can't wait to kind of set that up somewhere out here and just start working out again just to get in shape, you know? So uh, that's, that's what I, I wouldn't call it a new year's resolution, but Okay, KR Auto Body Shop. What's your advice on spraying eight grams of ice pearl on base white? Well, if you're spraying any kind of pearl, right, just know that pearl is so fine. All right. You could never mix it in base coat, okay, because the paint is literally going to bury it. Okay. Unless you're putting a lot in. Like I'm talking bags, okay, that you're not going to see it. The correct way to lay pearl is basically mixing it in your clear coat and it will not make your clear dull, any of that stuff, okay? It's basically, you're just putting it in your top coat, your clear coat. You can spray two, three coats and it'll look amazing. The only problem with putting pearl in your clear is if you run it, you're going to get a pearl sag, a pearl run. And you can't fix it because when you color sand it flat, right? You're going to cut the, the lump down. You're going to cut the sag down, but you're not going to cut the, the concentrated drip of pearl. You get it? So you, even if it's flat, you're going to see that, that pearl sag in it when you, when you buff it. And when you, before you buff it, you're going to see it when you sand it. So that's kind of like, oh crap. And that happened to me a, a good many times when I started paying, painting pearls 20 years ago um, until I learned not to run. And so if you think you you are good with spray gun flow and you don't run, then you could absolutely mix it in your clear coat and spray and spray it on. If you feel like, uh, you know, you want to give yourself more wiggle room for mistakes, then put it in a, a binder, which is a DBC 500 by PPG. Um, it's basically a clear base coat. Um, binder. They call it carrier. They call it. It's more of a carrier and a clear base coat. Okay, that's all it is. So you would mix that up like a base coat, and then you would add your pearl in there, and then you would just spray it. You got more control because it's like base coat, right? You could dust it on. You could spray it on a little wet, a little heavier, and you're okay. Um, you know, maybe we'll do a little bit of pearl pearl graphics on the motorcycle. You know, mixed in with the candy. This way, I can show you kind of how to lay it um, as a three stage. 
and then maybe we'll do some, you know, just paint, just mixing it in a uh, clear coat. So yeah, I mean, a lot of things coming down the pipeline. Uh, the only thing I got to do now is hook up um, the shop vent and the filter system for, uh, for exhaust and uh, filtration, you know, the ventilation system. So that's the only thing left, you know, I would say what's, what's, I would say by guaranteed by next month we'll be we'll be rocking and rolling uh with with mini paint projects guaranteed so um you know stay tuned a lot of good videos gonna be coming out how many of you guys seen my tesla video i did a little mini review on the tesla talking about some of the issues that it had actually tomorrow's the appointment you got it kr body shop Oh, that that orange is is stunning, man. I, I really like that color. I told you, you asked me what colors would go good with it. And uh, I gave you some feedback. So not sure what you're going to go with, Arnold. How does everybody like this time as far as streaming later? Still working on process. How does everybody like this time zone? Like 7 Eastern, 6 Central. Like, is this a good time or is later okay? I'm thinking about testing testing out a little later but just curious what everybody else thinks it's good for me what about spray the pearl like a tricoat a lot of oems are that way so if you're spraying pearl like a tricoat it's basically putting your uh, base coat down erwin uh mixing your clear base coat your carrier spraying that pearl coat on and then putting your clear coat on top of it. That's the tri coat. And I, I just talked about that. Timing is good. Everybody says the timing is okay right now. For what time zone? Most of you guys are on Central, right? Um, if you go later, I won't be able to join you. Okay. Okay. Hey, Tony, I have an X 27 high volume, low pressure for my base. What's the gun for clear? The time is a little early for me on the West coast. Just getting home. Most times, uh, Bo Duke, you will, or you should look into the X 27 low volume, low pressure that gun lays down clear really nice. So if you want a dedicated gun, I would go for the low volume, low pressure model. It sprays, clears very, very nice and wet. Um, high volume, low pressures are more of a base coat gun. But again, you know, you could spray everything out of a high volume, low pressure or a low volume, low pressure. I say this all the time because a lot of people get confused on this process. You know, they think that, they need a dedicated it's good to have a dedicated gun you know but it's not needed especially if you're on a budget like when i was 15 16 painting i only had one gun you know i had a 150 dollars astro gun you know it wasn't a super expensive one it wasn't a cheapo you know it was something that was dependable and that would last a good couple years you know let's take a poll on time zones uh, so yeah, just to recap, Bo, if you want a dedicated clear coat gun, look into the X27 uh, low volume, low pressure, and I use a 1.4 tip, you know, just to get that clear on, thicken it up, you know. Um, you could use a 1.3 or a 1.4, either or, you know. It, it might be advantageous for you to test it out. Test out a 1.3 on something, see how you like it, lay on, and then test a 1.4. <clears throat> it's 8 18 p.m in trinidad right now 
Florida, Florida, a lot of a lot of East Coast. <laughs> hey, Dia Dia Puzzle, what's your name, by the way? It's super hard to pronounce your screen name. Like I can't pronounce that. I don't know if I'm saying it right or what. Okay. Hi, Tony. I cracked the crap out of my rear bumper cover. Can I just paint that little spot? Absolutely. Okay, Benjamin. Absolutely, Benji. Um, what you could do is pull the bumper cover off, scuff up the back with like 80 grit, and then I would use the body bonding epoxy by 3M. I forgot what the number was. It's in the VIP course. I think you're VIP. Three zero zero. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but it's the uh, uh, body bonding epoxy by 3M, and just put it in the back. Okay, you, you could even V-notch the back a little, build it up with epoxy, and then on the front end, do the same thing. And then you could just shape it, put a skin of body filler on it, and then you're good. Now, um, repaint the whole thing. Well, if you want to do it right. I mean, from, from what you're saying, you cracked the hell out of it. It seems like a big, big deal, right? Um, I mean, I'm imagining the corner of your bumper. So to get the paint to match, you basic, you could blend it, blend that section and re-clear coat the whole bumper cover. Or, yeah, it's the only way to do it. I mean, that's the right way to do it. You know, body work, repair that spot base coat blend that area and then clear coat the whole bumper cover it's not a really huge process one zero zero four one one george lewis says thank you Florida Custom Flat Fab says, Russ says, black rain, low volume, low pressure, use less air if you paint with a smaller compressor. Yeah, true. You know, uh, with the atoms there, you know, they state the working pressure in tech in the technical description, but it actually, you don't use that much, um, S, you know, CFM either with those guns. It's, it's actually lower. The working pr pressure is a higher range. But when you use it, it's actually a lot lower than what it states. I'll send you a picture one day. Cool. Hey, what's up, Bill Taylor? Lifetime VIP from Michigan. Hi, everybody. What's up, Bill? How is your projects going on? I know you were uh, you were working on something not long ago just got my atom x20 we'll try for my base kelvin walker says i have the x27 low volume low pressure i bought the 2.0 tip kit for it thinking about getting an x20 as a dedicated primer gun i use the x20 for primers personally um you know it's a uh, it's a solid gun and I think it sprays primers really well. That's just me. I mean, you could use an X20 as a dedicated primer for sure. Um, and then I use the X27s and 88s for uh, base coat clear coats. The CRV is done. <laughs> awesome, awesome, man. Yeah, I sold mine. As soon as I got it done, I put it up and, and we got rid of it. But. Uh, I've been using my Burris GTR 500. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, guys, once we start once we start working in the shop, what I plan on doing is actual work on projects on our live streams. All right. So, we I have the little Mevo camera that we're going to be using. We're not going to be using this um laptop camera we're going to set up the mevo 
um, and we're gonna actually do work while So that's going to be a lot more exciting. I'm still at the X21 and I love it. That's got to be the best CRV of that year out here too. <laughs> uh, Tesla video, good. Can't wait to see graphics. If you're serious about getting in shape, check out Gravity Transformation on YouTube. I'm a 60-year-old, 60 68-year-old and in the best health in my life. Probably that's what you wanted to say. Yeah, you know who else is good? Athlean X, a buddy of mine, Jason, has been on his program for like a long time, like six, seven years or something like that. He's on YouTube as well. And um, you know, these guys are in shape. These guys are uh these guys are are ripped. I I, I want to put a little bit of weight on, you know, not a lot, but I want to I want to get in shape. I want to be able to do four sets of 25 pull-ups, you know banging them out. I mean, right now I could probably do four sets of 12, you know, but I haven't been doing pull-ups in a while. So I don't know. It might even be worse than that. <laughs> I used to be able to do that. Well, well, thanks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Moana Loa in the house. What's up, Moana Loa? I was there, but I ain't there now. I'm in the uh, I'm in the bus. The bus. I don't think this bus is ever going to have a name. Does anybody have a good name for this bus, or is it just going to be called the bus? <laughs> the kid that I bought it from, he at, like after I bought it, he's like, "Are you going to name her?" I'm like, "I don't know. I haven't thought about it." I'm like, "Did you name her?" He goes, uh, "No. We always just referred to her as the bus," <laughs> and like that's what I've been saying. You know, the bus, the bus, the bus, Mona. <laughs> would like to see you spray more flip colors what do you mean by flip colors tony on another note what's what do you think about lucid motors been checking into their stock i've heard of them i know they are they haven't all they have are prototypes so far lucid motors i seen their little mini documentary i think they're coming out with a car soon though <clears throat> um, it might be a, a good stock to get into, but the only thing is, is Tesla is so far ahead of the curve of all EV companies, you know, because a lot of car companies are combustion engine companies first, right? Then getting into EV. Lucid is different. I, I get that. Lucid is different, but you know, it's going to be hard to compete, man. Tesla has been out for a while and they got the battery business. They got the solar business. They got the electric car. It's, it's more like a computer, man. The technology is another level, but I do like the lucid dashboard, the digital dashboard. It is kind of weird driving the Tesla with no cluster gauge in front of you. It's literally black and dark. It's kind of weird because you have to look the screen is on the side of you, right? That's the weird thing. Like driving it. I actually, we've had the car for like two weeks now. I must've driven it maybe five times. My wife is the one who uses it, you know, back and forth and going all over the place. I, I, I get the 99 Chevy express van, but it is kind of weird. You get used to it, but it is what it is. We're going to be custom painting that Tesla model Y as well. We're going to make it look crazy. It's going to be stupid crazy, guys. You're going to do something something nuts to it. We're not going to wrap it. We're not going to plasti dip it and be like a baby and just tear everything off if it doesn't come out nice. We're just going to just put some full-on automotive custom paint on it. That's what we're going to do. Being on that little island, you can work on stamina. That's a good one. That's a good one, you know, cardio and stamina. Thinking about getting one of those double carports and turning it into a garage, would that be a good size for a shop? Kelvin, it, it depends on how many square feet that is. And 
it's a question you have to think about for yourself because I mean, a good size shop for me and for you, you know, might be different or for anybody for that matter. You know, you might be good with 500 square feet like me. I'm good with that for now, but I know that's not going to be my end shop size. You know, I definitely need a bigger spot and more places to just park cars because I, I have a couple cars I want to bring down from Dallas and I'm going to start collecting cars here, you know. Tony, you're in Hawaii again? Yes, I am. I'm in Hawaii now. What's up, Kevin? Long time no see. I'm in Hawaii now, um, up in the North Shore, Hali Eva. Just bought a piece of property up here. Beautiful spot um, in my solar bus right now. My office bus, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, we're doing a lot of cool things. I still got my place in Dallas. I got to get back up there. I just have, you know, I just haven't went because of this whole COVID thing. Plus it's cold. <clears throat> so I don't want to go back now. Watch CCIV for a huge boom soon. If they merge with lucid, no way. Lucid is in talks with CCIV to SPAC should boom very soon. Saudi has tons of money in them. What is CCIV? Northwest Pearl. <clears throat> How are you? Always good to see your videos and learning from you. Quick question. How long do you have to wait in order to apply clear coat after base coat? Well, usually immediately, like when you're done going around the car with base coat, okay? the door that you started on or the roof rail that you started on is pretty much 20 minutes away. Okay. Because by the time you go around the car, it's about 20 minutes, give or take. So by the time you go around, you're ready to go over it again with the base coat. You know what I mean? Even with clear coat, but you know, you got to be mixing your clear coat. You might take 10, 15 minutes, but you have a, a pretty big window. So as long as you're, you know, 45, 40, 40 minutes of your base coat, flashing 30 to 40 minutes you're good to put clear coat on it double dutch bus alberto okay um chameleon colors okay flip colors chameleon colors yeah maybe yeah we'll do we'll do chameleon guys we'll do chameleon the only thing is that shit's so expensive so i'm gonna have to see if we can get a sponsor over here get a sponsor uh paint shop maybe yeah that'll be that'll be dope <laughs> just merged with a company and they just installed charging stations in miami was looking at it as an investment stock wise hey do your research if it makes sense then invest i invested 70k in tesla now 350 that's awesome for you man It should be Paradise Mobile. How do you charge a Tesla at home? Uh, I plug it into my dryer outlet for now. Like when, when they did the electrical to hook up my air compressor, I had a, a separate outlet put for the Tesla. So I could actually, it's two dedicated outlets, one for the compressor and one for the car charger. But yeah, that's how we charge it. 1999 Chevy Express is powerful, you know, lots of gas use, but powerful. Yeah, I get it. It is a, it's a great van. I love it. We're going to be custom painting that thing too. Yeah, that's going to be a cool ass van for sure. More like a three car garage for starters. Kevin C doing good, bro. Glad to see you. Hope you hope to live that lifestyle soon. You will, man. Just keep cranking it, buddy. Mr. Kevin Camacho from New York. Churchill Capital, Lucid Motors. Yeah, I mean, I made I made a good buck off of Tesla, and I still have free Tesla stock because I got out of I I got out of Tesla. I mean, it was just going so crazy. You know, I probably made and cashed out maybe twenty five grand out of Tesla. You know, but now I'm still sitting sitting on a little bit of Tesla stock. 
you know, I'm, I'm just riding with their money. That's not my money invested anymore. It's just, we just got it. That's, that's what Robert Kiyosaki calls phantom money, where you invest in something, you take your profits out and then you got, you still got stock and it's, it's making money, you know, it's, it's, it's going up or if, if it goes down and if it goes to zilch, then, Hey, you still, you don't really lose out on your personal investment. Tesla to the moon. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, man. I'm hearing things like Tesla. I don't know. I'm hearing it's crazy because before the stock split, it was at what, what was it at? Like $2,000 before the stock split. And then they did a five to one stock split, you know? So I ended up with like 50 shares and that was a small position, you know? And then I sold 40 shares and now I'm just sitting on a little bit just for the heck of it. Churchill Capital, Tony is CCIV. Cool. Well, should have kept them. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> Shut up. I actually just sold a little bit of Bitcoin yesterday. A little bit. What is it at now? I hope it goes up. Still sitting at 36.5. I trade Ethereum. Yeah, I got some Ethereum as well. Bitcoin. I got about maybe a dozen different altcoins besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. But uh, yeah, I mean, I got in Bitcoin early. So I don't mind selling. I just sold half, half of one yesterday and just, you know, took out 17K. But you know, I'm just going to liquidate little by little, but I think I'm always going to hold on to a certain amount. Anyway, all that aside, Lucid. What's the stock uh, symbol for Lucid? I'll find it. Lucid Motors stock. Why SPAC Churchill Capital? IV stock is higher today. What's up, Jose from Utah? All right, room. Have to wash my Benzo. Put a stencil on to see if I can live with it. It's posted on the Learn Auto Body and Paint page. Awesome, ho. George, they have none till they merge. Lucid, not IPO yet. I see, I see, I see. Got it. Cool, guys. Coolio for the Dulio. Um, all right. So I'll see you Thursday. You know, I should really do these once a week until I get shit done, but I'll just I'll just see you guys Thursday. Let's just do it. Um, I gotta. I don't even know if the dump is open today. Is the dump open today? Uh, what clear were you using for these products projects? I got. I have a kit of Sherman Williams right now that I'm going to test out. So for the bike, Sherman Williams. And I'll, I'll have everything documented. So yeah, guys, I'll be on the next live streams. Not, not the next one on Thursday, but once we start getting into auto body, uh, we're going to do live streams. Like literally you guys can watch me like sand apart. I don't know how boring that would be. That'd probably be pretty boring, but it'll be something like that, you know? And then um, I think people like it though. And then we're going to need help from Arnold and maybe we'll, we'll, set up another moderator if somebody's interested to basically help out with the chat. Cause if I'm working on something and talking to you guys, I'm not going to be typing on the, on the computer. You know what I mean? Plus it's going to be hard for me to go through all the comments and everything and answer everybody, you know? 
So I'll try my best, but we're definitely going to need your help, Arnold, and maybe somebody else will put in here as a moderator. If you're interested, let me know. Um, if you're interested, just hit up uh, hit up Arnold, and Arnold, you could let me know. And, uh, and we will go from there. Before we start doing that, I want to touch base with you, Arnold, all right? So, uh, so that's pretty much it. Hope everyone's doing well. Have a great week. It's Monday evening. I'll see you Thursday about this same time. And um, hey, soon we'll be in action. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Northwest, Pearl, Steve, Arnold, Phil, B, George. Thanks, Arnold. Daniel Lopez, who else is in here? Mayan, Kevin, see if you're still here. Benjamin, Russ. Who else? Alberto. George again, another George. Bill Taylor. Black Rain. Yeah, all, all you guys out there. All right. Peace out, Patty. Peace out. Peace out. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Cheers. See you in a couple days. Adios. Oh, I guess I guess I'll just put a plug here for Learn Auto Body. <laughs> oh, it's there. The plug's there. So if you're new, you want to learn more, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com. Um, and if you're interested in awesome spray guns, don't forget to check out zula.com for more Adam spray guns. Talk to you soon, guys. Have a good evening. Cheers.